Okay, so hi guys. So, this video is about my fabulous, inexpensive yarn braid. Okay? So, to start off with, this is not a tutorial. I repeat, not a tutorial. There are thousands of, well, not thousands, but there's loads of videos on YouTube um, which actually shows you. Um, tutorials on how to do yarn braids so I'm not really going to go into that it's just really my experience that I'm going to talk about today okay so how did I do it so this is actually crochet braids so I actually crocheted the yarn into my hair I didn't actually do it like singles um, I thought I'd do it this way because it would cut the time and yeah it's just easier so yeah so, what did I use? Okay, so obviously I used two and a half, yeah, about two and a half balls of yarn. And the company is Yarn Fair. And the colour is chocolate. Now, the good thing about yarn braids is that you can get it in a variety of different colours. Um, you can get it in blue, black, orange, red, green and all the pastel colours white if you wanted to the only reason why I went for a subtle colour like brown was because of work purposes so maybe in the summer time I would maybe redo them <coughs> maybe get a brighter colour um, so yeah two and a half packs it took too long no it took about I was started on the Friday night and I finished on Sunday midday so it was kind of on and off for about three days but I would say that I did prep my hair and wash deep condition and braid my hair the day before so, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday so over four days is when I completed it but I actually started to actually install the yarn on the Friday night so yeah it took quite a while to be fair and I also added some um, some of these mixed colours as well. I don't know what that is. Sorry, I don't know what the name is. And I got these from Wilco's. If you live in the UK, you know what Wilco's is. Wilkinson's. If you live elsewhere, I don't know. You can get loads of them anyway, really. So yeah, that colour, I've done like, if you can see it, different colours here. I've done like some of them at the back. So like this here just to mix it up a bit and um, once I installed it so basically I measured it out it was like 72 centimeters I measured out which is probably I don't know if you can see it like that is it so then I got one end of the yarn and then held that and then I just went like that if you know what I mean there's loads of tutorials on it so I'm not really gonna go into depth and then I cut it because obviously you're going to half it and so half of that 40, 72 is equals to this length and I used about four pieces per plait because otherwise I started off with three at the back but it was too thin and obviously I wanted to fit the jewellery pieces on them so I had to make them a bit thick, thicker okay so the maintenance of them then so they're really easy to just maintain I literally just pull it back like this at night time <coughs> and then in the morning I just shake and go like it's really simple um, I've heard that yarn braids can be very dry into the scalp so what I do do every like maybe every two to three nights I just spritz my scalp with, a, with water um, in my water bottle I've got water and conditioner the majority of it is water and I just spray that on my scalp um, so yeah, I can't really tell whether it's been drying to my hair or not because I haven't actually removed the braids yet. So yeah. So yeah, it kind of mimics the dreadlock Bob Marley type style. I've received a lot of compliments. And um, everyone's like, oh, I like your hair. Then they get closer and they say, someone was like, wait a minute, that's not hair, that's, that's fabric. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's yarn wool. But yeah, I'm really big enough. So, how long does this hairstyle last? Okay, so if you're bipolar with your hair like I am, I have to change it like every couple of weeks. Um, 
lasts in probably not that long. But mind you, this is like going into the third week now, so I'm I'm doing well. I intend to have them in for about four weeks. That's really pushing it for me because I like to just switch up my hair as and when I want to. So yeah, three to four weeks. Obviously, once it starts to get a bit smelly or you feel like your scalp's dry or you feel like it's it's a bit too much now you can remove them as and when you please um, I wouldn't recommend you keeping them in for you know three four months that's just that's just a bit extreme um da, 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 da. so that's it really I actually really like it it's different um you don't really see a lot of people walking around with these types of hairstyles I've got loads of compliments, probably more compliments than I've ever had with straight hair. So yeah, and it costs. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about the cost, did I? So this is the receipt. Okay, so one pound thirty-five per ball. Yeah. So the whole style. Well, can I count one, two, three? about five six pounds that's including the jewelry i got oh yeah i got the jewelry from a black hair shop in um yeah there's no point telling me because i live in nottingham and yeah so you know you know i got it in a market in a black hair shop and it was 50p a bag so yeah so that really adds like you know if you're getting bored you can just add more jewelry pieces but yeah if you want to take a closer look so yeah, that's it really. I'm not gonna lie, the back does look a bit jacked up. Don't judge me. I can't see at the back, <laughs> and I had no help. So yeah, and it looks a bit patchy at the side. But um, yeah, that's that. I'll probably take it out in a couple of weeks and uh, maybe tell you how my hair reacted to it from there. So yeah. I hope you give this video a thumbs up, I hope you subscribe and I hope you have a blessed day. Ciao!